Hi, water signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those cross watching, and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today, we're going to take a look and see if your ex still has feelings for you. I mean, I'm sure there's still some feelings, but we want to know if those feelings are love. Okay, it is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address um, just below the video in the show more section. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. So focus on the energy of your ex, and we want to know if there is still lingering emotions of love between the two of you. Oh, I have to be careful not to set anything on fire here. Okay, the Four of Swords, the Emperor. It's interesting, don't you think, that the number four, he has come up twice for you on either side of the emperor. And we've got a similar situation happening here with the number 10. It's come up twice here, both in different elements, but on either side of the Wheel of Fortune. That's interesting. The number four is a number in numerology of confidence, um, of like... A very stable a very solid kind of energy and because of this they can be perceived okay they can be perceived as super slow when it comes to making moves making decisions here or even like thinking on their feet it's also said that the number four here leads with its head not with its heart okay which makes sense because it's come up as the four of swords as the four of swords like in the suit of swords here Number 10 is a, it's a divine number. Look, all numbers are very special and unique. But to me, number 10 is a return to unity. It's the completion of a cycle. Okay. It's also feeling independent. Uh, from. It's a feeling of independent from everything. And this is interesting. Because to me, the numbers in combination with the cards here tells us that I feel like there's a, a new beginning and a beginning of a new cycle here, especially with the presence of the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like the card here can indicate an unexpected turn on a turn of events between you and your ex in the future. Do they still have feelings for you? Yes. There is an emotional thread that still connects the two of you together. There's also a lot of pain in their energy or perhaps in your energy here. But I can see that there's been a lot of hurt in this connection. So the two of you didn't always necessarily see eye to eye. And the two of you have caused each other a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of heartbreak, heartache emotional anguish, betrayal, deception here. It's not to say that there was mal malicious motivation or malicious intent to have caused this pain. But unfortunately, I just feel like the two of you loved each other. And the reason why you've... I feel like the reason why the connection here has come to an end is because I'm not sure whether it's their energy or your energy we're picking up here because when two energies are so very intertwined with each other, it can be really... Uh, they become so close that the messages can become very similar like in appearance. So what I'm picking up is 
there was a lot of pain in someone's energy here okay someone had a lot of unhealed wounds and a lot of past pain a lot of past hurt and they never dealt with that so i'm sure you're all familiar with the saying that people that are hurt tend to go around and hurt others the most and your person was might have been a very hurt individual they may have had a lot of wounds that need to be nursed and healed and they never really heal that pain okay and they never really allowed themselves to confront that pain as well they were always suppressing it burying it deep inside of them but of course we know that pain doesn't just dissipate or dissolve and go away on its own and what they did is they were outwardly projecting their pain onto you so the hurt that they were feeling inside unfortunately they were projecting that hurt onto you and onto this romantic connection and relationship the two of you had here they do still have feelings, but with the Emperor's energy, because he's not very lovey-dovey and he's not very mushy, this person isn't necessarily showing it. It could be because it's a pride thing. It's a male's ego. Okay, It could be that they don't want to swallow their pride. They don't want to show you that they still care for you or that they still love you or they still have very strong feelings for you here. They may feel as though maybe you don't reciprocate those feelings or you have entirely moved on. Um, maybe, like I said, it's it's an ego thing, okay? They don't want to reveal to you, okay, just how much they still care and they still love you. I feel like it's sort of, because I'm picking up so much pain in their energy and because I feel like they're quite complex in nature, I feel like your person has had a lot of... A lot of issues that they they needed to untie and untangle the knots on some of these issues. They may have had a very complex upbringing. They may have been previously involved in some very painful and complex romantic relationships. Um, and there's a part of them that feels like pain is a sense of normality or that relationships have to be painful or they have to be heartbreaking and they have to be hard work. A part of that is like a, it's embedded in their DNA, it's in it's embedded in their way of thinking here. It's because that's what they're so accustomed to, that's what they're so familiar with. And if they feel like there's no pain or there's no heartbreak, then it's not really a relationship. And of course, it's a wrong way of thinking, but it's what they've been exposed to earlier on. So just going back to that whole, you know, not wanting to reveal their feelings for you, because I feel like it's a pride and it's an ego thing. Um, and I feel like if they show, it could have something to do with their upbringing or just their personality and their nature here. But if they feel like they show you that they still have feelings for you, they, they're, they're interpreting it as it as a sign of weakness okay and to you they want to come across whether female or male they want to come across as alpha someone who's totally in control of their emotions someone who's not phased by you know this situation or by what went on between the two of you because I can see the two of you had quite an emotional roller coaster here okay there was a lot of complexities a lot of intricacies a lot of um, I guess a lot of insecurities or issues that they had or perhaps the both of you had that really surfaced um, in this connection here okay and I can see that especially with the ten of swords there was a lot of a lot of hurt a lot of betrayal here and maybe your person feels like you can't forgive them for the pain and the hurt that they've caused you Okay, or maybe them holding back on their emotions feels like it's a way to protect you because the the Emperor is also such a protective alpha kind of energy. Maybe they're trying to protect you from them. Maybe because they're aware that they are a very complex individual and that they're aware that they do hurt you. And even though that they still love you, them not coming back to you or them not acting on those feelings here is a way to protect you from them because they feel like if they if the two of you come back together here you'll essentially come back to what the two of you once had which was a very complex complica complicated very turbulent tumultuous type of situation and they don't want you and they don't want to cause you any more pain so this is really interesting because i feel like th this is very complex and there's so many layers to this person and there's so many layers to this connection yes the two of you have hurt each other yes the two of you have said or you've done things you've even broken each other's trust here and maybe for some of you watching and listening this you feel like there's no going back okay 
but I feel like your person still has so much emotions. They're trying not to show it for, you know, for fear of uh, pride, for fear of appearing weak. But I also feel like it's a way to protect you from them. It's a way to protect you from the hurt that they've projected onto you. So that's interesting that it's sort of like a protective measure here. Um, Ten, of course, is the like the completion. So for some of you, maybe they feel very strongly that the two of you cannot possibly go back to what you've created in the beginning because it's finished between the two of you, okay? It, it's You can't recreate the past and some of you are like, well, no, would you want to, right? You can't go back to what you once had. Whatever feelings and emotions you had for one another, you know, whether they were very strong positive emotions or strong negative emotions they belong to a particular point in time and no moment could possibly be recreated and your person feels like or, or perhaps you feel like you know what the two of you had is best left in the past okay and let the dust settle on that maybe you feel like there's no point in possibly revisiting what was once had because it's just that it's the past but for others of you, I do feel like that the Wheel of Fortune here, because it's a card of movement and it's wedged in between the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands here, it tells me that there's a possibility that there could be a an opportunity. There could be a window of opportunity that presents itself between you and this connecting X energy in which the two of you could be able to come back together and revisit this connection. But you're not going back to what you guys what sort of broke the two of you you're not going back to what you guys had because that as i've mentioned you know that's the past and you can't recreate the past you can't recreate what was right but you can begin anew and it feels like the sun is lifting it's cresting the horizon here so it feels like it's a renewed sense of energy it feels like a new chapter a new energy a new type of love a new type of a connection a new type of a beginning so even though you know it's and they're not the old person they're not the person that you once knew and neither are you because since then you both have grown and evolved to be the person that you are today and this is why i see that for a lot of you you know the wheel of fortune turns and it's this it ushers in such a new energy and it's such a new beginning and of course the wheel of fortune is also a card of destiny so if the two of you are destined to cross cross paths together it will be okay and for a lot of you i do feel like you know the destiny of this connection it hasn't yet entirely been fulfilled you've had i know you guys had your chance okay you, you guys had your relation like you've had your um your opportunity you've had your chance and look some of you didn't get it right the first time and that's okay as i like to say you know some of the life's greatest adventures begin on the wrong turn and maybe this is your second chance because i feel like your ex still has feelings for you and you may still have feelings for them too and you know you've both grown and evolved since then and it just may be an opportunity to do it to do it you know again and to do it better this time around Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please show your support by liking, subscribing, sharing. For those of you, for those of you interested in personal reading, feel free to inquire. Otherwise, bye for now.